Hello, I'm Elena and welcome to a new episode of my E-Class Invites. Last January, I made a video on how I decorated this planner that I got for 2023. If you haven't seen it, I will share the link in the comments below. Let me share you briefly what I have written this past few months. 2023 is not over yet, but I can say that it has been good. Although there were so many challenges, especially during the mid-year, but I am still grateful that I was able to overcome it. So these were my entries from January to November. As you can see, I added some stickers, doodles, and letterings in my planner to make it more creative. I've been using monthly planners since 2020 because I find it easier to maintain. Since it's already December and the year will almost end, I feel that it's about time to decorate a new planner for the coming new year. So I bought again the same planner that I got last year, but this time it's a dotted notes version. I love this size because it perfectly fits my Starbucks planner that I got 3 years ago. This size is just enough for my needs. How about you? What type of planner do you use? Are you using a physical planner or a digital one? Share them with me in the comments below. I have purchased some stickers for decorating. This one is coffee themed because who doesn't love coffee? There are so many stickers to choose from. I also bought this sticker pad. It has different themes as options.
I want this planner cover to just be fun and at the same time remind me of things like to enjoy every day, always dream, and feel so blessed with all I have at the moment. Keeping a planner helps me track things that are going on in my life, be it at work, family, or self. I must admit my memory is not that good anymore, so I need reminders of some things. And it also helps you know yourself more when you look back on some past entries. This is it! The cover is done! I hope I gave you a bit of an idea on how you can decorate your own planners too. Thanks for watching! Bye!